The following contest is a no holds barred match. It is for the NXT North American Championship. A strange, unsettling feeling has just come over this building. Loomis strikes me as the type of dude you'd hang out with, Saxton. Almost reptilian in his movements. Yeah, inhuman, cold-blooded. I don't think I want to know what's going on behind those eyes. Ah, uh, whose house is it? It's Swerve's house! What does that make you, Saxon? Like the annoying neighbor who calls the cops when the music's too loud? That's not a very nice thing to say, Corey. Lots of swagger, but also lots of discipline. Coming from a military family with time spent in the Army Reserves himself. A true student of the game even hosts his own wrestling podcast on the WWE Network. Don't sound so excited, Michael. Don't give anyone a podcast. You are never invited back. And I'm going to have your episode deleted, Saxton. Introducing the challenger from Recluse, Wyoming, weighing in at 239 pounds, Dexter Loomis. And introducing the champion from Tacoma, Washington, weighing in at 201 pounds, he is the NXT North American Champion, Isaiah Swerve. The NXT North American title hanging in the balance here. We've seen the NXT North American title in the middle of some of the fiercest matches on the black and gold brand. And for good reason, Michael. The North American Championship puts your name on a short list of champions. It also puts a huge target on your back. Swerve manages to counter. First one missed. Second one didn't. Effective. So much torque on the knee and ankle. From the ground up. Oh, an incredible seated suplex. Stomping down. Uh-oh, second rope. Are you kidding me? Wow. Guys, that might have been the best moonsault ever. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. I'd have to think that a no disqualification match favors the most heartless competitor in the ring. 
Well, that's mostly true, but even the most rule-abiding superstars have risen to the occasion of a no dis From the middle rope. Oh! Loomis gets intercepted. Systematic attack on that shoulder. Uh-oh. Oh, God, that hurt. The challenger eating up some damage. Seated drop kick. Oh, my. A jumpy DDT. Absolutely planted. Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. Standing shooting star press. Incredible. Roundhouse kick. And Loomis is being taken apart here. Yeah, this fluid movement from Scott is proving hard to predict. He's a projectile now. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. So much torque on the knee and ankle. Elbow smash! Nice reversal by Loomis. Loomis looking to get back in this. That might be the crucial opening Loomis was looking for. Uh-oh, this is going to be ugly, guys. Look out! Oh! He climbs into the ring. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Right to the knee. He's one step ahead there. Punch! Oh, man, the neck breaker. What are you doing here, Corey? Campbell clutches in. Look at the torque. Well, this won't win the match. Slip right underneath, and just like that, he's out of the hold. Sidekick finds the mark. Ooh, stinging kick. Strong oh, kick. My goodness. Stick kick. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Tough position to be caught in here. Oh, my goodness. Face right into the barricade. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. He's taking this to the floor now. Mistake made by Swerve. Now we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a suplex. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. God. Enough already. We'll slide back in the ring now. Taking this one back to the ring now. Ah, oh, clubbing blow to the back. Oh! Right to the back. Oh, ruthless striking. A non-stop assault from Loomis. Loomis getting ready. And a kind of ice. Loomis' opponent is fading. Going to see a new champ. Give up now. Swallow your pride and submit. Just hang on. Hang on for just a... And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Makes a cover. Oh, a close call makes the champ nervous. He just won't give up. And Swerve had it scouted. And Isaiah needed that bad. Oh, look at this. Byron the triangles in. It's in. Oh, this is terrible. This is bad. Oh, just tap out. Just tap out and end this thing. Losing this match would absolutely destroy. The elevated triangle, but short shots to the ribs break the hole. <laughs> oh, that's going to sting. Swerve is in a distressing spot. Yeah, it is unsettling how Loomis has taken over. Up high, down low, leg drop. Swerve being carefully measured now. Oh, nasty.
the impact and there's a submission. Tap out. Do it now. Liv, he's going to have to tap out. He does. New champ. Welcome to the era of Loomis. Some superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights. Superstar, or should I say, for the new champion. The future has arrived. A man who bends limbs, joints, and time itself. This is a man who spent many years as the top light heavyweight in Japan and is now one of the finest cruiserweights in WWE. Yeah, who can forget the moment that Kushida defeated Santos Escobar to win the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. Make way for the Irish ace. This is going to be good. Uh, this man began training at 12 years old. He was actually trained by Finn Balor. Obviously, Balor taught him well as this man owns the longest cruiserweight title reign in WWE history at 438 days. He's got a big ego, all attitude. But Jordan Devlin always backs it up in the ring. Confidence personified. Introducing the challenger. From Tokyo, Japan, 
weighing in at 192 pounds, Kushida! And introducing the champion from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, he is the NXT Cruiserweight Champion! He is the Irish Ace, Jordan Devlin! One of the most prized titles in all of NXT, the Cruiserweight Championship. For over half a decade, we've seen some of NXT and WWE's greatest high flyers take to the skies for this title. Every time the NXT Cruiserweight title is defended, you are guaranteed highlights, Michael. This match will definitely continue that tradition. Aggressive work on that shoulder. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Gosh. Enough already. Jordan Devlin is so often just as good as he says he is. From the top. Holy moly, amazing display of athleticism. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Oh, wrist clutch. Into an arm breaker. Nasty. Continually punishing, man. Kick gets caught. Devlin dodges out of that. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Yeah. Springboard misses the target. Oh, to the arm. Terrible. Oh, from behind. with a Uranagi. Yeah. Oh, and Kushida turns the tables. And set him up. Oh, oh the knee to the face. That's gonna hurt. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Uh-oh, he could be looking for a submission here. Oh, continuing to punish them. After everything these two men have been. How do you get out of this? Oh, look at that. What a great counter. Oh, Sit down, oh. jawbreaker. You can pick up your teeth in the third row. Boom. Knock him down. Ouch. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. No. Oh, 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 that'll break his arm. Vicious. Here's a pin for the title. Gets the shoulder up after one. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Oh, and a basement drop kick to the back of the neck. Oh, my God, he's got him in. Running arm breaker. That was nasty. Devlin gets out of there. Picking up speed, building momentum. Trying to change the tides of the match. No try, and the superstar has changed the tides of the match. Those last hits rattled the champ. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Got it down, looking for the up. Get to the ropes, forcing the shoulders down. Championship on the line. Oh, the champ survives. He kicked out. He actually kicked out. The setup. Oh no, we're gonna see it. Oh, penalty kick right to the arm. And look at this inch in. And the hoverboard lock is in. Oh no, this is not where he wants to be. Yeah, but taps out. Yes, we have a new champion. 
We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. Defending champion had this well in hand, but the new champ had other plans. It just goes to show you anything. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Women's Championship. Gentlemen, are you ready? I think Dakota Kai is about to get her kick. I see what you did there. Look at that intimidating scowl. Byron, you look scared. I am scared. Ruthless attitude and ruthless kicks. Half of the first ever NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. You know, it's hard to think at one time, Dakota Kai was the captain of Team yeah, Kick. at one which... time, Byron, at one time. That included the entire WWE Universe, but how things have changed. Dakota is no longer the captain of Team Kick. She's the leader and the ruler of Team Kick. And Saxton, you're off. The Poison Pixie is here. This woman's held the NXT Women's Tag Team titles alongside her quote-unquote daughter in the Hartwell. Interesting, unique relationship, but effective no matter how you look at it. One of the best high-flying women in all of WWE. But now Candice LeRae has added a level of ruthlessness that comes with joining the way. Introducing the challenger from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. And introducing the champion from Anaheim, California, she is the NXT Women's Champion, Candice LeRae. Lots of competitors in the back dream for a shot at this title. Expect to see a vicious determination from Dakota Kai in this matchup, Byron. Yeah, one thing everyone knows about Dakota Kai is that her tactics are just as ruthless as her kicks. Kai has no regard for her opposition's well-being. 
Yeah, there's no line Dakota won't cross to batter and bruise the competition. Then you have Candice LeRae, someone who went from being the type of competitor praised for her enduring spirit to now someone who stabs friends in the back to get ahead. The sad thing is, she has too much talent to be taking so many shortcuts. Well, praise and friends don't pay the bills now, do they, Saxton? Candace came to the necessary realization that the only way that truly works is the Gargano way. Okay, so she needs to rely on herself, and that's it. A fine change, if you ask me. Stomping. Ouch. Kai sidestepped out of the way. As unpleasant as Candice LeRae has been since she started following the Gargano way, you cannot deny how talented she is in the ring, Corey. How would you suggest gaining the upper hand against a veteran like LeRae, especially when you factor in her willingness to break the rules at times? Overpower her. Look, Candice LeRae's a heck of a competitor, as tough as they come, but she's still, as you would say, cold pint-sized and can easily be treated as such. LeRae can get it done in the ring, and I happen to think the Gargano way is second to none, but more often than not, Candace can't win when it comes to size, power, and strength. This superstar could go all night. Cover by the challenger. Manages to escape before the three count. Somehow, some way. She catches Kai with a big counter. Is this ever going to end? I hope not. Whoa, leaping through the air. Stepping through, could be looking for a submission. No, establishing position. Oh, oh man. That hurts. Did you see that, Saxton? Can you pray? And the champion finally ready to put this one away. One, two, Kick out, and the title fight continues. She just will not go away. Dakota dodges. Oh, here it comes. Dakota cut. Lorraine avoids the attack. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. I don't think any of these superstars are going to show any quit at this point. Never say die attitude on full display. Kai with a nice turnaround. Dakota Kai with a GTK. The champ's eyes look glazed over. Try and end it. Don't believe it. That was a matter of a fraction of a second. And that could have been Dakota's best shot at putting the... Launching. Diving the foot stop to the chest. Able to avoid there. How in the world do these superstars have anything left at this point? The arena's thinking the same thing. All eyes are focused on this moment. Oh, attacking the shoulder. Up and down, what a slam. Down low with the drop kick. Oh my God, what an elbow. Trying to chop her down with a low kick. Down into oh, the shoulder. Wow, break. that hurt. Relentless attack from Dakota here. And Candice LeRae basically being overpowered here. She might need to look into the Gargano way about now. She's going up. Top rope here. Slowly getting up, but she won't like what she's met with. Candace quickly dodging. Beautiful takedown. Slides right in. Misses Gargano. Escape. She's in a tremendous amount of pain. Is she going to... Man, just trying to shift her hips. She does. And a right hand. And there's the break. Byron, I love this move. This is one of my all-time favorites. The Wicked Stepsister. Can you believe it? Candice LeRae. Boom! Oh, with the stop. The champion into the cover. And she fights it off. 
you got a question. How much is it worth? How much is it worth to continue through the agony? It's obviously worth everything. Candice LeRae, Mrs. Gargano escape. The Mrs. Gargano escape. A championship level move. This would be an amazing upset. Can she get her to Not sure why, but she releases the hold. Well, I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. Candice LeRae looking to cinch it in. Here it comes. Blocked in. Man, she's got a lot of heart and a lot of guts, but I don't know if she can hang on here. Heart and guts don't matter with a broken body. Look at this. She releases the hold. That's a little surprising, no? Makes the cover! Two, three. And the champ stands tall once again. Let's take another look at what made that matchup so memorable. Impressive victory from bell to bell. This was a grueling match both physically and mentally, but to the victor goes the spoils.
on the line of the Tag Team Championships. Teams in their respective corners going over final strategies. The acclaim that comes with being recognized as the NXT Tag Team Champions is at stake here in this tag team match. And we are starting things off with Mace and T-Bar. And in the other corner, they will be dealing with Marcel Bartel and Fabian Eichner. The cohesiveness of these two teams are about to be put to the test and championship gold is on the line. I promise you, this is something you don't want to miss. Oh man, two explosive teams at the top of their game. And I just got goose pimples, guys. Calm down, Saxton. I'll try. Thrust right to the throat. Man can't breathe. The man can't fight. Tossed without regard. Spinning side slam. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. The champ trying to roll with these hits. Oh, watch this display of power. Oh, Barthel able to reverse that. Oh, wiped out with the crossbody. Gets the tag. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Down with a power bomb. Oh, and a stomp. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. They're caught by surprise. Ah, oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. He takes control. The challenger's looking shaken. He's got it. Oh, ho, ho. let's get it on. Big oh. impact. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Oh, ho, ho. just bounce that face like a basketball. Turning the tables there. Bulls line. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. Now, stop to the belly. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. From the top, elbow drop. Good lord. Spear. And into the count. Two count, and they're still in this. Bad predicament right here. Targeting the throat there. And Fabian can't stop any offense coming his way. Definitely a tough spot for Eichner. Thrust right to the throat. Man can't breathe, the man can't fight. Return fire from Mace. Series of reversals. Oh, look at that torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. He's got him here. He's got him up. And oh! Kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal for him. The challenger eating up some damage. Tagging his partner in now. Just mounted with punches. And not, oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Oh, solid contact there. That holds back Barthel's attack. <laughs> Ooh, with a championship on the line. He keeps his team in the match. <laughs> and this might not have a pleasant ending. 
Brutal escape as that maneuver was taking just too long to materialize. Hits him with the counter. Oh. Sorry, European uppercut. Oh, strong impact. Turning the tables. Looking wobbly in the corner. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Alley-oop. The champ has been taken to their limit. These are dire straits for him. He needs to be extra cautious now. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Sky high. Diving shoulder tackle. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Just like that, Barthel finds a counter. Oh, Byron, you hear the sirens. Here it is. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Bartel escapes the attack. He turns it around. And able to counter. And another counter. Back elbow finds the mark. Elbow after elbow. He got whipped into that corner. At this juncture, you have to wonder if these superstars can keep up this pace. They're certainly being taken into the deep waters now. Trapped in the corner. Oh my gosh, nowhere to go. Reversal, what a counter. Powerless position to be in right now. Are you kidding me? Barthel on the receiving end. Side slam. Now oh, trampling the opposition. Submission and now looking to get it locked in. Uh, he's in complete control. Opponent has nowhere to go. Could be tap out time. A normal man would have submitted by now, but not. He let it go. Yeah, I wonder why. Shifts it back onto him. What a knockout punch. Oh, oh man. From behind. Leg hook, belly to back. The champ has this one in hand now. Mounted with punches and not oh a nasty stop to finish it off. I am feeling a titanic shift roaring through this crowd right now. Well, you're not the only one, Saxon. It's all coming to a head now. Drop kick. Getting set up for something in the corner. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Boom, what impact. Ah, Mace answers back. Elbow smash. Unraveled on T-Bar. Yeah. Had that one scouted. And responds with a counter of their own. Trapped in the corner. Oh my gosh, nowhere to go. Momentum's with Bartel now. Attack after attack from Bartel. Nice 
cross body. Gets the tag. Oh, look at this soup. Oh, right in there. T-Bar finally creates some more offense for himself. Yeah, T-Bar able to momentarily stop the bleeding, but will he also gain command of this match? Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Oh, and a reversal. What power. What dominance. The champ getting put on the back foot here. Knee to the face. Boom! Slam! With authority. Jarring impact. Uh oh! Size of the mark. In trouble! Doesn't even see it coming! Cover for the championship! Coming to the rescue. And just like that, he said, crashing to the floor. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Getting tossed. Uh-oh. Going for the run. Two slam. What power. What dominance. And Eichner had it scouted. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. God. Enough already. Oh, uh, lifting them up. Big punch finds its mark. Oh, look at the... This is truly awesome. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. The official asking him, is he going to tap? Is he going to tap out? He's trying to hold on, but for how long? And he very quickly counters. Great reversal. Setting it up. Boom! Oh, hard impact in the corner. Up and over. Nice landing. Back in. Oh, wow. What an elbow. How resourceful. the same. How close was that? Vicious right forearm. Check out the power of T-Bar. Feast your eyes. And a bad exchange there for Eichner. So That's T-Bar saying he'll fight until every breath is out of his body. He turns it around on T-Bar to retain the title, the cover. And he stops the count for his partner. Boom, right to the body. Uh-oh, half and half suplex, lights out. Beautiful athleticism, Hurricane Rana. Kick to the midsection. Oh, this is so much fun to watch. Revolution's in and a spinning power bomb. The champ will stay champ. Kick out. The hope lives on. And look at the disbelief on the face of the champion. They both know what's at stake. Neither competitor is going to lose easy here. I can't tell if it's anger in the eyes of the fact that he hasn't finished this or if it's disbelief that his opponent is still in this. Oh, stomping away. It's been a hardship for these superstars to get to this point. I think these fans are driving them to claw that extra inch. You can sense the ride these fans have been on it. T-Bar. Hoist them up. Boom! Feast your eyes. And in the late goings, T-Bar is still able to distribute an attack. Eichner may be dangerously close to being put away. Oh, that might have just broken something. Oh, Barthel able to reverse that. Oh, good night. Sorry. Choke bomb. Oh. 
being carried around with ease. Planted face first. Turns it around on T-Bar. An attack for the championship. No, it's no! This is what champions are made of. Always finding that deepest ounce of willpower. That final drop of fuel in the reserve. Oh! Right to the back. That is just insulting. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. Tags him in. From behind, hooks the leg. Oh, what a throw. Now that is why they're the champ. Is it enough? Simply refusing to let this opportunity slip away. And who knows if there'll be another shot, yet you can't give up now. And now the question runs in the mind, how am I going to be able to end this? Ooh, just relentless. And now Mace could be closing in. Oh, Byron, you hear the sirens. Here it is. Airway bomb. The title might change hands. Two. Treating the torso to yet another attack. Agonizing. Hit butt to the back of the neck. Ah, oh, Mace answers back. Oh, down by the DDT. Bartell can't find an answer for these attacks. Yeah, Bartell needs to find that spark. Got the tag. Got the tag. Oh, my gosh. Terminating knee smash. He went right into that turnbuckle. Uh, counters. And Eichner is finally able to mount some resistance with that. He's hoping to start a rush of his own with that attack. Mace avoids that one. Oh, man. To the back. Oh. oh no. Now possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. He got him locked in. He made up. His partner's got to be thanked. Covered by the champ. Got him. And the tag titles stay put. We've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one. And still, the NXT Tag Team Champions, Fabian Eichner and Marcel Bartel, Imperium! And these two really do make the perfect pair. Uh, here's the Rebel Heart turned Black Heart.
the first NXT Triple Crown Champion, has held the NXT Championship, NXT North American Championship, and NXT Tag Team Gold. Now bestowing that success on the rest of the way. The Bruiser waits. They talk about having it, Corey. This kid has it. Intangibles, the skill set, the entitlement. Pete Dunne believes everything belongs to him, and he'll take it forcibly if he has to. Burst on the scene with the likes of Tyler Bate, who was the first ever United Kingdom champion, and Trent Seven to form British Strong Style. But he's now moved up on his own and become one of the Great young up and coming superstars in WWE today. Introducing the challenger from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, Shotty Gargano. And introducing the champion from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds. He is the NXT champion, the Bruiser Wade, Pete Dunne. This building crackling with anticipation as the NXT title is on the line. to the NXT Championship has led us to this. Another highly anticipated match. A lot of hype surrounding this one, Corey. The most hardcore fans always know they'll get their money's worth when it comes to matches involving the NXT Championship. It's going to be a ruckus crowd. These men should enjoy the moment, but also can't get lost in it. Emotions always ride high in these matches. Being able to tune out the noise. What is this superstar going to do now? Oh. Take a nap. Byron the triangles in. It's in. Oh, Triangle submission, a lot of trouble here. Oh, look at this, look at this power, look at this strength. Great way to escape. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Dunn turns that around. Oh, that'll turn your skin red. This could be an opportunity. Oh, my God. Springboard moonsault. Wow. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. There is perhaps no superstar currently in WWE more synonymous with intense, high-quality matches than Johnny Gargano. They don't call him. Up high. Moved out of the way. That could change the whole complexion of this match. Oh, Man. my God. What an elbow. Went into the corner now. And he's able to reverse. And an elbow. Great job refocusing to reverse that. German suplex. Oh, man. Right. 
to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Dunn's Dunn's biting him. The challenger's looking shaken. Oh my lord, what is he? Oh gross! How barbaric. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? Surprisingly quick kick out. Maybe that was just to keep his opponent off balance. Big forearm. Great job seeing Dunn coming. Organo setting him up. Oh, long dart into the turnbuckle. Oh, new champ. And a kick out at two. Wow. Side coming. Drop kick. Great athleticism. The stomp in every single part of his body. Oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, Devastating kick. Oh, foot just stomping down. A oh, jumping stop to the gut. Set up. Yeah, Pete Dunne lifted him up. Boom! Sit out power bomb. The challenger not looking good right now. And hanging tough, but beginning to st We've arrived. It's about time. End! The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. Hangs on by a thread. It was almost just lights out on their championship dreams. Well, let's see if that kick out was a spark or is it the challenger's last gasp? Pete Dunn is in a state of disbelief, pushed his opponent to the limit, but they still keep fighting. And he sends him into the corner. Organo setting him up. Oh, long dart to the turnbuckle. Arm is trapped, and the rope's forced to break. He did not want to be caught up in that submission any longer. Great officiating as the ref noticed he was on the ropes. So much damage inflicted. Some hard offense landing on the champ. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. These competitors have been going deep into their arsenal all match, but have not found a way to end it at all. Swings in momentum. Every push has been cut off. So kick. Drop kick hits hard, lands harder. Taking this to the floor. All measured up. Oh, drop kick to the spine. The bruiser way at the mercy of his opponent. And that is Johnny Wrestling personified. Taking control and increasing the intensity thus far. Ooh, man. Elbow smash. Boom. Nice. Now, bad intentions coming with this hole. Expertly applied triangle. I'm going to tap out here, but it ain't going to matter. He's still doing a lot of damage, though. Able to free himself of the triangle. Six. Face plant. Six. Have to head back into the ring now. Yeah, counts running out. Perfect drop kick. And Johnny finds the room for another attack there. Yeah, and Gargano might be looking to deliver a knockout here. And Gargano with ring awareness. Johnny Takeover wants to end this thing right now. We've arrived. It's about time. The bitter end. Oof. Unbelievable. What ingenuity from the challenger. An arrogant display from the champion. Stealing that move might just light a fire under the challenger. And now I sense a level of unease from Johnny. He's unsure of what else he needs to do to end things. I can see up to the rafters, and there's not a single person sitting down. What an environment this is. All eyes are glued on this battle. Oh, my gosh. Dunn is biting him.
punch right in the head. Oh, shot right to the kidney. Oh. And again. Great way to wear down your opponent. Oh, oh, oh. Gosh. The bruiser weight on the offensive. I love this ruthlessness from the bruiser. Oh, hold on. Is he thinking of a submission here? Expertly applied triangle. Will there be an escape for Gargano here? Gargano's resiliency is being put to the test. Able to free himself of the triangle. Hammering down on the knee. Oh, and that startles Johnny. Johnny's reeling. He's in serious danger. Oh, Mr. Dunn's opponent is about to meet with a bitter end. Can it be? Will the rain continue? Two. Pete Dunn is walking out the same way he walked in as a champion. Now let's take a look back at some of the great action. Here is your winner, and still NXT Champion, The Bruiser Wade, Pete Dunne! He really wanted this one bad. Yeah, what a major win for him here. This was another impressive win tonight for the man simply known as The Bruiser Wade.